What's going on guys? Danny here with Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to take a first look. I'm sure you've seen this uh, other places, but this is my first look at the new Milwaukee 2.0 gallon air compressor. So uh, let's get into this, show you a little bit about this, go over some specifications, do some testing, and see if this is what you are looking for. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to get, uh, this is straight out of the box, pretty much. The only thing I did was literally add the uh, muffler part here, and, I mean, it just screws right on. So it's completely empty right now. Uh, we're going to do, pull the valve, show you. So we're going to do a test, first test, see how long it takes to uh, air completely up here, and... I'm pretty excited. So uh, let's see how long it's going to take. Now I've got a 12 amp hour battery, but I'm going to use a nine uh, because I know a lot of people have the nine amp hour batteries and I really don't think you're going to notice the difference between the nine amp and the 12 amp airing it up. If you do, it's going to be seconds, literally. So we're going to take a nine amp hour battery here, plug it in and start a timer and see exactly how long this takes. So we're going to put a thing up on the screen here, a timer and let you watch. So before we get started, I want to show you a little bit about this air compressor. So we got the two gallon tank here. Then we have the drain valve. Easy to drain that condensation out of the tank next moving on we have the release valve and the quarter inch quick connect coupler this is where your battery goes this is the switch to turn it on and off and then this is your regulator knob right here and then you have your tank pressure valve right above it there moving on we have the intake filter and then this is the bottom of it where your uh, rubber feet are. And then your handle to carry it. Here we go. In three, two, one. This thing is so quiet. Uh, guys, I'm not yelling. I'm talking very low. It's amazing how quiet this thing is. 68 dB, but you can sit here and you can have a conversation with somebody all day long without ever having to raise your voice at all. So just normal talking, this is what you're getting. So uh, we're just going to watch it up here. Now this is with a nine, and we'll see. We'll see how long this takes to completely air up from zero to the 135. So about a minute 48 seconds, minute 49, somewhere around in there with a nine amp hour battery from completely zero all the way to 135 PSI. So uh, let's do some testing with this. Let's see if this will, I've, I've had a lot of people, it's meant for inflation, okay? So the three things they recommend this uh, air compressor in particular for is inflation, finished nailers, and brad nailers. So we're gonna use uh, a brad nailer to me, it's gonna be the same thing, 16, 18 gauge uh, as a uh, finished nailer. So we do have a brad nailer. We're gonna show you that. We're just gonna pow, 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 pow. Uh, but first, we have a truck that has an 80 PSI tire, and we're gonna see if this will air up the tire. So let's get our hose hooked up here and get out to the truck. You can tell this tire <laughs> it's completely flat. So uh, I've got a digital gauge on it so we can know exactly, you know, what the PSI is at on this and keep it going. We're going to see if this air compressor will actually air this tire up. I personally want to know myself. So here we go. We're going to turn the air on to it. And now 
we're going to pull the trigger and let it roll. So here we go. And it's fixing to kick on. It is air in this tire up. So we're down to 70 in the tank and it is lowering. But it's keeping up way more than what I expected by all means. So each time this airs up, you're only gonna get about 11 PSI in a tire. So by the time you do this, you're looking at about, I mean, it's, it's gonna air it up in less than 10 minutes. <clears throat> and the outside of this is reading 114 on the compressor itself. now <clears throat> all right so let's see where the hot part is we'll see what the battery is reading too we'll pull it out and check it all right so the hotness is really here from it running a lot so let's see what we're what we're putting out here so we've got 117 <laughs> yep, 117.6, 117, 117.7, somewhere around in there. So uh, let's see what our battery's at here. Battery's really not that hot. <clears throat> it's not as hot as I thought it would be by any means. 108. Battery wise, with three bars we are down to one with it running that whole time let's go in show you uh, some more features of this thing so there's your airing up it takes about 10 minutes uh, so you really have to be patient once again that's 80 psi though if i was to do it from you know 10 psi to 30 35 psi on a, a vehicle car tire like my wife's nissan pathfinder or you know a car tire something of that sort then it wouldn't take a third of that probably but you know i wanted to see if it would a do the 80 psi to show you because if it'll do 80 psi you will have no issues doing any of this other stuff so uh i've got a brad nailer we're going to brad nail and we're going to brad nail the living crap out of some stuff here and see how many brad nails we can get before we get this compressor to kick on so let me get a battery put in here all right so we got a couple boards here we got our brad nailer and we're just going to turn this on full and let's see so uh let's go over the scfm of this um guys i do have a frame nailer i'm going to show you this with a frame nailer it is not meant for a frame nailer and I, i'm going to show you it's not meant for it it is meant for literally a finish nailer or a brad nailer 16 to 18 gauge and that's what this is meant for tire inflations things of that nature <clears throat> and we're gonna see because up to 1600 nails for a 12 amp hour battery in this. Uh, but we're just gonna see how many we can put in this board before we get the compressor to actually kick on. So, uh, and we're just going to probably pow, 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 pow this thing away. So, uh, so the SEFM of this, guys, uh, once again, 135 PSI, uh, SEFM, let's go over the manual here so I'll make sure my specs are right. 1.7 at 40 PSI and 1.2 at 90 psi so uh so let's see i mean once again this thing's meant for a brad nail it shoots a brad nail very nice makes it real nice in the wood now once again this is hard treated wood so uh so let's go there's one two <clears throat> three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So pretty much thirteen brad nails before it kicks on. And that's pretty quick, you know? Um, just saying. That's pretty, pretty fast. And it's staying above 100 PSI the whole time I'm doing this, which is absolutely Now we're getting it to go down. So, so let's show you this. So here we go. Uh, there's one, so here we go. You ready? <laughs> yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we got seventeen that time, and watch the watch how fast I can do this. This is a bad mamma jamma. Uh, so this max PSI on this gun is uh, 120 PSI. So uh, I mean like I said, you may get one or two out of this and then you that's probably gonna be about it. But uh, we're gonna find out for you here. We're gonna show you. First hand, let's see how many shots we will get out of this before. There's one, two, you'll get two before it kicks on, two. <clears throat> so with all them, it only put me down to 80 PSI. So would it do it? It'll do it and it'll sink every single one of them. Is it meant for it? No, it is not meant for it. Uh, this is probably going to make this run so much and it's just not going to be efficient for you at all. But uh, it's probably going to end up pushing this compressor so hard that it would eventually shut down uh, to keep from overheating on you. But I just wanted to show you what an actual frame nailer would do that's uh three six that's nine nails took us from 135 psi down to 80 with nine nails so it's uh it's not lightly by any means but on a side note it, it impressed me it sunk every one of them i thought you was probably going to get about two before the compressor kicked on which we was right on that uh, but i did not think after that it was really going to sink these things so this thing the operating temperature as you noticed outside i think we was up to like 117 it operates up to 125 degrees before it'll actually uh, turn off to save the motor on this and you know uh, things of that nature. So your operating temperature is zero up to 125 uh, degrees. 100 th 135 PSI tank on this. I'm not sure this dial is going to get you close, but it ain't going to be, you know, spot on. Uh, what's this thing? Let's talk a little bit about it. Two gallon tank, 68 decibels. You can talk over this thing all day long. It is so quiet. I guarantee you, you can have a peaceful, it's, it's amazing how, how you can have a conversation and just not, not have to talk crazy loud over this. It, it's very, very quiet. 
uh, all steel row cage on this. Now you can, it's got the rubber bumpers on the bottom. You can stand it up uh, for easy carrying. If you're, you know, got it on a pack out, uh, maybe then you can, you know, put it on your pack out like this, lay it down like that. The rubber bumpers are on the bottom. That's how it is meant to be. But your carrying and stuff is meant for this handle. Uh, then we've got suitcase style, which is the, the handle. Compatible with all M18 batteries. I'm not sure, after using a nine amp on this, the lowest I would probably go on this would probably be a 6.0, uh, one of the high outputs. So a six, an eight, uh, your nine high demand, or your 12 amp is probably the only batteries I would be putting on this. If you have the eight, uh, I would probably use the eight, nine, or 12, depending on which ones you've got. I don't know if I'd really use a six. Now, depending on what you're doing, I'm sure a six will get you through though, so, you know. Uh, 1.2 CFM at 90 PSI, and then it was 1.7, I believe, let me get the manual, 1.7, at yep 1.7 at 40 psi so uh you know it's it's not meant to do your your nail guns your framing nail guns them things are really meant to do something that's about four uh scfm not 1.2 or 1.7 but as you noticed it did do it we got the kit so you can buy just the compressor here for 349 uh, tool only or you can get the kit with the rapid charger the 8.0 high output battery that comes with it for $500 uh, I think there's another kit for 550 that comes with the 12 don't quote me on that But I think I think uh, but this kit right here with the 8.0 is 500 <coughs> Quietness of cordless here uh, 68 decibels Talking is, you know, above the 68, which it really is. Um, it's crazy. A vacuum cleaner is louder. I was, I was thinking that. I was thinking a vacuum cleaner was honestly louder than this compressor because it is amazing how quiet this is. I'm sure the camera will make it louder than it is. Trust me when I tell you, this is very, very quiet. I promise. Uh, cordless other competitors uh, they put about 85 decibel range so uh, we do have a DeWalt air compressor y'all be watching because I am going to do a comparison between the two and we're going to turn them on let you get the noise levels things of that nature and uh, so be watching for that review coming here in a couple couple two or three weeks <laughs> and then uh, the compatible tools that they say it's compatible with here is the, you know, the tire inflator, uh, your finish nailers, your brad nailers. Milwaukee, uh, I would like to say, you know, this thing is great, absolutely phenomenally great. Uh, I really do like this. I was honestly expecting it to not air up a 80 PSI tire as well as it did. Um, the things that I would really like to see on this, guys, there's there's only really one thing I personally would have liked to see on this. And maybe there will be a Gen 2 that will have this. But uh, the one thing, everything to me has a negative. Everything has a negative. It's really not a negative. Uh, this thing does what it says it's gonna do and it does it very well. But the one thing I personally would really like to see with this is uh, an AC plug. I would really like to see, I mean, an AC plug on this that we can plug in uh, to where if, you know, we don't have a battery and we actually have uh, a place to plug in, hey, let's plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Uh, if you want to get even better, hey, add a charger to it to where we can plug it in plus charge a battery. Now that's what I'm talking about. But uh, the one thing I would really like to see on this is the AC uh, adapter to where I could plug this in if I, my battery died and I had just a little bit left to do. I didn't have that extra battery. I could just plug it in and move on. Um, even, I mean, honestly, if I had a plug in, I'm really not going to use a battery that much unless, uh, you know, extension cords running all through the place. Uh, let's say I've got a, a small thing to do, a small job, uh, I'm in and out, uh, I've just got to do something small. I could literally, honestly, take a frame nailer and do a small, small repair job or some sorts and move on. 
uh, and use this and it be so quiet that it's not going to aggravate the uh, the client. So, uh, you know, hey, they've got other things. They've got the battery powered, you know, they've got the M18 uh, battery powered Brad Neller. Uh, they've got the frame and Neller that they just came out with. So, you know, you've got plenty of options, plenty of options, but uh, you know, hey, if you're looking for an air compressor that's gonna do a uh, majority of what you need to get done, then, uh, you know, hey, this is a great thing. So if this is something you're looking for, hey, you can't go wrong. Three year tool warranty on this bad boy right here. How can you go wrong with a three year tool warranty? Uh, you know, absolutely. I mean, I, I can't say enough about this. I am super excited to get to use this more. Uh, but overall, first thoughts, man, this thing is absolutely great. You've seen it for yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.